Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to look at how to make sunglasses. So there's going to be three or four parts to them. There will be, of course, the arm to it, and then there will be like the earpiece. There will be the rim around the lens, and then there will be the lens itself. Some of it we will make in 3D Builder, and some of it we will make in Paint 3D. 3D Builder, as I've mentioned in previous videos, is another free-to-use application that comes with Windows 10. Your computer should have it already installed. If not, you can just download it for free from the Windows Store. So let's start with 3D Builder. Click on New Scene, and just like in the last couple of videos, we're going to again use a combination of the Hollow and the Split tools. So in another video, I showed you how to make a basin or a Hollow Hemisphere. It's going to be similar to that, except we're going to squash it. So let's go ahead and create our sphere. Then we're going to squash this. So you have three controls here. Click on scale. You're going to click on the top one. And we're just squashing that down. Left click and hold to pivot around. So you want there to be some curve like lenses, but not too much. And again, these are going to be fairly small unless there's a close up. So keep in mind how much curve you want. But that's good enough for the demonstration. Now we go to edit and we hollow this out. And again, it's a lens, so it shouldn't be very thick. So we'll use the default settings. And if you haven't watched the other videos, there's like this very translucent border and then this slightly more solid, more opaque blue center. The blue center is what is going to be hollowed out. So we click on hollow. So again, you can't say anything yet because it's the inside that's been hollowed out. We click on split. And in this case, this is exactly what we want because by default, it bisects it. It goes right through the middle. So let's go ahead and click on split. And now if you left click again to pivot, you can see that it's basically a lens. Like I said, it's similar to what we did for the basin, the hollow hemisphere, except that we didn't squash that. Okay, so let's go to save as... And we'll call this lens. And we'll save it in 3MF format. Now we go to Paint 3D. And here's where we're going to import it. Go up to Menu. Go down to Insert. Lens. All right, so what we're going to do is click on 3D View, and unlike 3D Builder, you right-click and hold to pivot. So let's center this, because we're going to want this all lined up. And you can see when that turns gray, it tells you it's been centered. Now we're going to rotate this. So we want to rotate it here, which is along the x-axis, the left and right. And it snaps into place at 90 degrees. Let's slide that over. Let's copy, paste, slide that over. And now we're going to start drawing. So let's draw. Let's draw the um, the bridge for the nose. So we'll click on 3D shapes. We'll use the 3D doodle for this one. We'll use the sharp edge and just kind of. Bridge for the nose. And again, you're not holding the button down, you're just clicking when you want to change direction. Okay. Go to 3D view. Whoops, sorry, we're already 3D view. Now we need to move this back, but let's scale it first. I always make that mistake. I usually move it before scaling it. Now we slide it. 
And there we go, it actually snapped into place. Now it's hard to tell from here because the lens are centered rather than being fully forward. But from the top view, you can see that that is centered. Looks like these could be separated a little bit more. A little bit more, a little bit more. And don't forget, this can always be scaled. In fact, let's, let's do that. You can see it's a little bit uneven, but again, this is just demonstrating the principles. So again, right click to pivot around. And it doesn't look so hot from here, but from the back, you can see that it is lined up better. Okay, so now, actually let's right click and pivot. So what we want is the arm and then the earpiece. So for the arm, we can be a little bit lazy about that. We can just use a 3D shape. Just gonna use a cube, left click, drag. Go back to 3D view. This one needs to get rotated. Whoops. So I want to rotate it. Should. That's interesting. It's showing that tool, but that's not the way it's rotating it. Let's... Uh, Let's just move this. I think the 3D angle is kind of messing it up. So we want to rotate it towards the screen like that. And again, the uh, when I'm sliding left and right, that's holding down the scroll wheel. I keep wanting to say mouse button. It's like, yeah, there's lots of mice button. Mice buttons. If you want, you could put like a little extra adapter there where it meets. But again, the, the whole idea is this meant to be more placeholder as opposed to the final artwork. So let's copy, paste, slide that one over. Ah, that's what's wrong. wonder if that one got scaled because it looks like it comes out a wee bit longer. Okay. And it's still not looking like much because the lenses are being cut by the canvas. So let's make that go away for a moment. Suddenly it looks more like glasses. These are solid, so we're going to have to make those translucent. But we're getting there. Okay, so final step, we're going to re uh, to draw the earpiece. So let's put the canvas back on. And let's just go to 3D shapes. And for this, we're actually going to use the soft edge because those tend to be a little bit more roundish. Okay. 
3D view. Let's widen that a little bit. And let's, oops, again with the unanticipated, unexpected rotation. I think when you're not at a full angle, when you kind of like at the three quarters perspective, it confuses it, or at the very least it confuses me. Right click, this over here. Uh, let's make that a little bit wider. Let's make that a little bit wider because it really should cover the arm because it's meant to be like a like a plastic adapter. Okay. Zooming in and out with the scroll wheel, not pressing it, just scrolling it, rolling it. Copy, paste, slide that over. Let's see how that looks. So we can either scroll, uh, scale this down a little bit more or scale these up to make them a little bit thinner. Let's make these a little bit thinner. Okay. So that's the bulk of the construction. Let's make these a little bit bigger too. When I kind of took a step back like that, I saw that they really look kind of small. That's better. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. And the final step is we'll go to Unity. In Unity, we now open up that folder. Your sunglasses. Now, unless there's some kind of default setting, just because it's transparent and curved doesn't mean there'll necessarily be any magnification. That in itself might be uh, a separate um, calculation that, have to, that would have to be done, separate effect that would have to be applied. Uh, that's beyond the scope of this tutorial. As I've mentioned before, they're usually too small. So let's bump this up to like, say, 300. Apply. Put it into the image. Okay. Not bad at all. I could have done the nose piece a little bit better. I shouldn't have short changed that. Okay, so last thing is we're going to make the lenses uh, slightly translucent. So right click. Create material, and we'll call this dark glass. So, a couple things. We're going to make the. We're going to click for albedo. We're going to click on the color. Make this translucent. So, the alpha channel. And let's give this like a bluish color. And the rendering mode will be transparent. Now you apply that. And sure enough, you can see through them. Sorry, brief splice there. Didn't miss anything, just moving the camera. So anyways, you see some of the imperfections 
in the model itself. However, having said that, once there's a background and something to actually uh, refract through and reflect against the lenses, that will be diminished. So if we slide this over, you can see it's not nearly as apparent when there's something behind it. So again, part of that is the, uh, the imperfections in the model itself, and some of that is um, the, uh, the fact that there's just not a whole lot reflecting against it or refracting through it. So Unity doesn't know quite what to do with it. Combination of both. So that's about it. You can also apply, as we said, there's several different models here. So you could apply, say, maybe like a brown plastic to the air if you want. So right-click, create, material, plastic, brown, and for this, like a brownish color, you can make it more reflective, maybe you can make it more metallic. And then you just apply it to those. All right, so that's about it. Again, not meant to be a high-end model, meant to be more either placeholder graphics or, again, if you're trying to do something stylized. But just like that, you now have uh, translucent sunglasses. You could make these darker. So actually, let's let's do one more quick example. So say these are meant to be like really dark glasses. So you can see it got darker just when I changed the material. Uh, and you could make them a little bit less transparent. And even that kind of hides the uh, imperfections. Okay, so that should do it. I hope you found this helpful. And we'll see you in the next video.